Hey guys, what is up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this video I want to show you a little trick how you can blur any element of the video whenever you need it. Because sometimes it might happen that you, 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 you're filming something and then in the post-production you actually understand that you need to blur this part. For some reason it can be the face of the person, it can be a card number plate, it can be maybe some password or some number from your screen. So whatever it is, you definitely need to hide it. Here I have a piece of my video from Abu Dhabi racetrack. And let's say here we see the person, um, for example, this gentleman, which is uh, staying on the left side. And let's say we we not allowed to show his face for some reason. Maybe he is celebrity or some VIP person. And basically what we need to do, we need to hide his face, but same time make sure that we can display, you know, this um, uh, this piece of the video. So basically to be able to do so, first I need to identify where I start seeing his face. And basically somewhere around here, I can see his face in a frame. So basically I cut it here and then we need to find when it finished. So at this very moment, we basically understand that we don't really see his face anymore. So it's very hard to recognize the person. So I cut it again. Next step would be just to duplicate this frame. So that is a part where we have his face in a frame, right? And to be able to blur his face, now we need to do some work with it. So basically you click on the paste pencil uh, color and effects and then you're going to this part so and I want to choose Kaosian uh, 10 so it's kind of like 10% blue right as you can see now you're the whole frame is blurred like 10% blurred and I just need to make sure that everything but his face right so to be able to blur only just his face, we go in back to frame and fit uh, part and then we have cropping option. So we actually need to crop it right here. Yeah. So we need to crop it right here. So now you can see, so his face is blurred. And then to be, to make it a little bit more soft, you know, to more presentable, I'm going to blur, sorry, soft some edges. And also adjust corner radius. So let's say I make everything four and 5%. Uh, four and five percent yeah so now we can see that his face is blurred so but that's not the case because if you go in back to our timeline so you can perfectly see that his face is blurred but everything else is visible but once we start moving it actually not stay I mean his face became visible again right so basically the part which is blurred one it's not tracing how this person is moving, how the frame is moving. So we actually can manage that. So we're going back to the pencil and we start to edit this frame. First of all, we move it here and then we start to work with the frame. So we just move it and then we just reposition it. And then we move the frame again and we reposition it again. And as you can see on our timeline, we have more and more blue dots. So basically it means that system is kind of like try to save each position of this blur element on the frame. And then we keep going with the same scenario all the time and just move it a little bit, just reposition again. Okay, so we finished, right? So we did it till the end. And now let's see the result. So basically you can see 
Now we got him in a frame, oops, and his face is blurred. And how the frame is moving, we still don't see his face for 100%. If you decide that you need just apply different effect for, for your video or for this blur effect, you can also go back to color and effects, color and effects. And then you can choose, for example, I don't know, like pixelate, like pixelate is really common effect for many videos. You might see them in variety of movies or documentaries. And then just go back here and now you can see a little bit different type of blur in the face. So you still cannot recognize the face of the person. We don't, we don't really see his face. And that's really nice. So guys, that's how you can blur whatever you want with LumaFusion in your post-production um, workflow. Let me know if it was useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.